In today's video, I'm going to give you my best tips for pressing Puff HTV. This has been super popular in the Cricut community lately. This HTV gives a really cool 3D look to your shirt. I posted a video over a year ago showing how to add Puff to a shirt. On that shirt, I used regular and Puff HTV. I loved the look of it, but the Puff had a wrinkled effect with it. I still didn't mind that effect because it still looked really neat, but I want to show you in this video how to get a smoother finish with this. I'll be making this adult shirt in the video and also a kid shirt. I quickly want to mention that you can still see the t-shirt texture through the Puff HTV, but you do want that because that means that it adhered really well to the shirt. Here is an example of the wrinkled effect, which some people don't mind. I do like my shirt that I made with this, but I pressed this with my Cricut Easy Press 2, and sadly, I just haven't found a way to make this smoother with my Easy Press. You just need very firm pressure to make it smooth. So in this video, I'll be using my heat press. This is my results with my heat press. There's a lot of different brands for Puff HTV. The ones that I'll be using is Caesar Easy Puff from 143 Vinyl. This is deep pink and neon orange. I'll leave a link down in my description box. And now I will show you how I put my designs together in Cricut Design Space. First, I'm going to find my font. For Puff HTV, you don't really want a thin font or a design that is really thin because you really want to see that Puff HTV really pop. So I will grab my font here. I'm using JT Grove. I downloaded this from Creative Fabrica. This is a really great font. I can leave a link down in the description box for it. I like how this looks in all caps, so I'm going to turn my cap locks on, and for my first shirt, I'm going to type in vacay mode. I'm going to bring the spacing together a little bit because I don't like how much space there is there, so I will just go up to my line space and bring it down. I'm putting this on an adult shirt. I'm going to make it 9 inches for my width. I also want to add a sun on top of this, so I'm going to grab an image from Cricut Design Space. I really liked the sun in this image, so I'm just going to delete all the wording. I'm going to add it to the canvas. This is another good example of an SVG that would be great for Puff HTV. You can see the words are very similar to this. I'm just going to ungroup this, and I am going to... Oops. I'm going to go in and delete all these words. I just want the sun, so I'm going to move this out and delete all of this. I'm going to eyeball this and kind of line it up over vacay mode. Now I'm going to highlight over both of these and I am going to center horizontally. I want these two to be separate, so I'm going to go up to advanced and select ungroup to lines. As you can see, that makes it two separate layers now. I want to make the sun an orange color. This will be the neon orange puff HTV. And for vacay, I want to make it that pink color. So I have all the colors that I want. I have the whole thing sized at 9 inches for my width. I'm not going to attach the orange colors because I want to press all three at the same time and there would be a carrier sheet in the way for the pink. So I'm just going to group it together. For my next one, I am going to grab the same font and I'm going to type in summer. For this one, I'm going to duplicate it. So I have three of these. And I'm actually going to create an outline using the offset for the center one, which is really fun to do. So I'm just going to drag this down. I'm going to click on offset. And I'm going to bring this little slider down. I just don't want it to be that large. I like how that looks. I'll hit accept or apply. I'm going to move this out here. You can see I have my offset and I have the original. I'm going to hit undo. I'm going to highlight over both of these and then I'll hit slice. Once that's sliced, I'm going to slide this out and slide this one out. As you can see, I have a super cool outline. So that is a really great hack with the offset tool. I'm going to bring this back up here. I'm going to make this one orange and the other two pink. I'm going to highlight over all three of these and I am going to distribute horizontally and I will distribute vertically. 
While all three of these are selected, I am going to size it and make it seven inches for my width. I'm doing a 4T kid shirt. I'll delete these. Once again, I'm not going to attach the pinks at all because I just want to place them all separately. So I can click on make it. With Puff HTV, you do want to mirror it. So I am going to mirror both of these. Then I will hit continue. For my setting, I'm going to use the everyday iron-on setting. When setting this on your Cricut mat, you want to place the liner side down. So what I like to do is just peel a tiny little bit of the corner away to find the liner. As you can see, it's the dark orange part. So I place the dark orange piece side down. This is a thicker material, so you want to use a really clean mat or possibly the purple strong grip mat. Then I just have the Cricut cut out the design. Once again, here I'm looking for the liner. I feel like we're all used to just putting the shiny side down on the mat, but really you just wanna make sure the liner side is down on the mat. Now I'm ready to weed out my HTV. This weeds so easily, which is awesome. Also, if you've been making puff HTV projects, how has your experience been with it? And I'm curious if anybody's gotten the Cricut Easy Press to work with it. Once that's done, I cut out each word and I try to cut as much of the liner off as possible so I can place them together easily. I started to place my design together on each shirt to see how it's going to look and I hated the pink with the neon. I just did not think that those colors went well together at all. So I recut and just had all the same colors, which I hate to waste that HTV, especially puff HTV, but I just really didn't like the way it looked. Sometimes it just doesn't turn out the way you picture it in your head. Here's the heat press that I'm using and I am going to set my temperature in time. I press the set button and I already have it to the temperature that I want, which is 278 degrees, but I meant to do 280. I press set and for my time, I do 10 seconds and I press set again. For regular HTV on my heat press, I would do about 305 degrees. So a big tip for puff HTV is to lower the temperature some. Before pressing my shirt, I like to turn my knob to make it a little bit tighter. You want firm pressure. That's the key for Puff HTV. I just realized that that rhymes, but you want it to be a little bit hard to press your heat press down. Now I'm ready to pre-press my shirt. This is another big tip I have for Puff HTV. With any type of HTV, I always do this, but with Puff, I do it for the full 10 seconds, especially if I'm doing 100% cotton shirt like this one because it's a little bit thicker. This just gets all the moisture out and it just really helps the Puff lay correctly on the shirt. Next, I add my t-shirt alignment tool so that I can add my designs and make sure it's all lined up on my shirt. Another tip I have is to make sure that you don't have any of the seams from the shirt on the press. This just helps get an even pressure. Now I'm ready to press my shirt. I let it run for the full 10 seconds, then I lift the press up. I forgot to press record when I reveal my results, which is the most important part of the video, but thankfully I was filming it on my phone. Here I'm removing the carrier sheet liner. The sun looked just a little bit wrinkled, so I pressed my heat press down on top of it and the heat kind of helps get the wrinkles out, but I don't fully press it down because that can kind of flatten it. Now I'm moving on to my kid shirt. I fold this in half to find the center. I meant to do that with my other shirt, but I forgot. And I preheat this for 10 seconds as well. Then I line up my designs. One question I have, if anybody knows about these kid shirts, is that there's no way to make it completely flat because the seams are underneath the heat press. So does anybody use like a pressing pillow or what do you recommend? I pressed the shirt for 10 seconds again. When I lifted the heat press up, two of the liners had already just flown off of them. Look how cute this looks. I will show you a final look of both of the t-shirts. Here's the vacay mode shirt, and I just think the puff turned out so amazing with this shirt. It looks smooth. You can see how it's raised on the shirt. I am obsessed with it. I love puff HTV. It is just so much fun. 
Here's how the kid summer shirt turned out. You can see that the narrow letters in the middle section that says summer, it doesn't puff up as much because it's thin. So that's why you do want a thicker font or design for the Puff HTV. I hope you enjoy this video and let me know if you like Puff HTV just as much as I do. If you have any questions, comment down in the comment box below. I would also love it if you gave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new.